hi guys welcome to my channel guys in this video i am going to show you that how you can make this beautiful responsive login form in just simple html css and bootstrap by using bootstrap you can create this beautiful responsive login form in just simple step so guys first of all here we have one heading of logo and after that we have one more heading of signing into your account and first of all here we have one input method of the email here i am going to put my email and after that there is a password input sections you can put here your password and after that we have a login button and whenever you hover on this button it change its background color and create a border so after that we have a link of forgot password and after that we have one uh, paragraph after we have one more link of registered here so guys this login form is completely responsive you can see this in your mobile laptop or any touch screen so this is completely responsive and guys watch this video till end and before starting this video i will request you that please subscribe to my channel so okay guys let's get started first of all here we have one html file and one uh, picture that we use in this login form so let's get started but before starting with the bootstrap we have to copy this uh, bootstrap uh, starting template from the get bootstrap website let me copy this get uh, started template from here and paste it right over here so this is our started template before using bootstrap we have to copy this and paste it right over here so uh, in bootstrap we use section first of all i am taking there a section with the class of form and after that i am going to take a container and inside the container i am going to take one row inside this row i am going to take one uh, column uh, of five uh, columns and after that uh, and this one is for our picture for the image i'm going to take our image and the image class of image fluid guys uh, whenever you want to use an image in the bootstrap you have to uh, take this class of image fluid and after that i am going to take one uh, more class with the column of uh, seven columns and this is actually our login form here you can see the login form so for that first of all i am going to take our form inside this form first of all i am going to take one uh, class with the form row inside this form row i am going to take one more class of uh, inside this i am going to take one input method that is our email with the class of form control this is the basic classes of the form where, uh, that you can use in your form. Whenever you want to create a form, then you have to use this class with the form control. And here I am going to take our placeholder. Uh, the placeholder will be email address. Guys, this is our one row of form row uh, and having one input method. So let me copy this row again and paste it right over here and this is actually our another input section this is uh, another row and let me change the type of this input section with the password and change let me change the placeholder right over here and with the same class of form control so guys after that after so this is our another row and after that i am going to take one more row so let me copy this row and paste it inside this uh, form tag after the second row and right here, here we want this button so let me change this input to type input input section to a button so right here i am taking our button with the type of button and with the class of btn1 because we are going to design this in our css and right here i'm taking the login and after this uh, row i am going to take our uh, and after this row i'm going to take this forgot password link so for that i'm taking anchor link and forgot password this is actually our link and after that i am going to take uh, this this paragraph with the anchor link so for that i'm going to take one p p tag inside this p tag i am going to take this and let me paste it right over here and inside that this uh, p tag i'm going to take one more anchor tag 
that is a register or register here so this is actually our uh, anchor link and and let me uh, give me some margin margin top and bottom is 4 and margin left and right is 5 so okay guys let me see the output for all of this so you can see right over here this is our output so after the so now let me change the body background color right here inside after the title inside the head tag i'm going to take our style the universal tag padding zero margin is zero and box sizing is border box after that let me change the body color background color is oh let me change the body color so actually this is our body color and now let me see the output here you can see the output so let me customize it more after the body color I am going to change the color of our row so now let me take the row class with the background color is white the background color is white so now let me see the output here so here you can see the output here we have one uh, border white border and this is actually all so now let me let me customize it more and inside this uh, the row let me uh, give me it more border radius of 30 pixel here I am taking one more class with the no gutters So now let me see the output here here you can see it will change completely by just using this simple class of no gutters so here uh, uh, so here we have a border radius of 30 pixel and on the left side we did not have a border radius so now let me change let me give it the border radius to the image for that i am taking our image top left radius is uh, 30 pixel and let me copy this property from here and now let me change the border bottom left radius border bottom left radius is also 30 pixel so now let me see the output of this so here you can see we have a border radius on the left side of this image and also here on the right side so now let me change this login form from here uh, first of all here we have one heading of logo and after that we have a, a heading of sign into your account so for that uh, i am going to take a, a, a heading h1 uh, before the form our logo and after that one more heading of uh, sign in to your account let me copy this heading from this let me change the font weight of this heading and with the padding of top and bottom of uh, three now let me see the output right over here so here you can see the output and and these are a completely different so let me change it more here i am taking the padding uh, left and right is five and uh, the padding top is five so now let me see the output right over here so here now you can see this is very beautiful and this is our button and here is our button so now let me change the button with the margin of three top and bottom and uh, the padding inside this is four on the left right and top and bottom and now let me copy this for another input uh, section so now let me see the output right over here so here you can see this is uh, change uh, we change the input types right over here and now let me design this button so here we have one uh, class with the btn one so let me copy this and redesign it right over here in the css tag first of all i am taking the border is none and the outline is none and the height will be the height of 50 pixel and the width is 100 percent background color is black
color is white in border radius 4 pixel and font weight will be bold so now let me see the output right over here so here you can see uh, the output uh, but whenever we hover on this button it changes background color and when we hover there it cannot change so let me uh, let me give it a, a hover hover property on this so whenever we hover on this it changes background color uh, the background color will be white and the border is one pixel solid and the color will be black so now let me see the output for this all so here you can see it is changed completely and on the other side here we have some uh, margin between this button and this anchor link so now let me give it some margin to this button margin bottom Uh, the margin top will be 3 pixel 3 and the margin bottom will be 5 so now let me see the output so here you can see the output and these are completely same you can see this one and this one that we designed right now is completely same here you can put your logo as well and first of all here i'm taking the our email address and here I'm going to take our password and let me click this login button and if you forgot this password just click on this link and if you don't have an account then register right here so this is uh, completely our so this is our uh, actually our login form but right here we have some box shadow but here we did not have some box shadow so now let me take some box shadow for this login form so here uh, inside the row I am taking our box shadow The box shadow of 12 pixel 12 pixels and uh, 22 pixel gray so this is actually our box shadow now let me see the output so here you can see uh, the box shadow it is very beautiful beautifully designed this uh, login form and this form is completely responsive you can see this form in your mobile laptop or any type of screen this is completely responsive for now it is uh, also well, guys if you like this video then let me know in the comment section and please subscribe to my channel and if you have any related question then you can ask me in the comment section so guys for such an awesome uh, videos you can click on the links in the description below for such an awesome more videos thank you guys